En quoi il Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. En. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Once again, we give the floor to the prosecution to la continue presenting the key documents. You may proceed. Qui pourra continuer à présenter ces documents clés? Thank you, Mr. President. Procureur international. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'm going to turn now to à présent, uh, documents that show the je passe à des documents uh, policy against enemies within the ministries les of the government of Democratic Kampuchea. <coughs> the first document that I would like to refer to is E3 slash 818. <coughs> Slash eight one eight. <coughs> this is a presentation um, by the party secretary Paul Pot during the first Paul meeting Paul Pot, of the Council of Ministers held on the twenty second of April nineteen seventy six at Khmer zero 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 seven two seven five six English. Zero zero one four three four six three French zero zero five four eight eight nine six. A Pol Pot advised the government ministers as follows: No matter how well we do things, if the imperialists are alive, if their CIA is alive. Si la CIA if their vivante, reactionary groups si are not yet eliminated from the face of the world, they will continue the opposing terre, the revolution, opposing us, opposing anything progressive, both overtly and clandestinely. And on Khmer 0027-2760, through 6-1, English 00-14-34-6-7, French 00-54-88-99-900. Pol Pot provided instructions regarding the common tasks of the government of Democratic Kampuchea, the second of which reads as follows, quote, defend the revolutionary state authority, the fruits of the revolution, defend the party, the people, the army, independence, sovereignty against every form of enemy activity, both overt and covert. We must always be in high revolutionary vigilance, always be in mastery. End of quote. The next two documents show the party's enemy policy at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. E3-522 is the uh, diary or notes of a cadre from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It's a long document, and I will just read on one short passage, which are notes from a ministry cell congress that was held on the 18th of January 1977. And this passage can be found at Khmer 00-42-79-40-41, English 00 Zero zero three zero three through three one et trente et and French et en français zero 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 six five seven nine zero two zero two and this is a a portion of the Ministry Congress that discussed the situation of the enemy in Cambodia and it reads as follows quote. 1976 was the key year. Our enemies are now weakening and are going to die. 
nos ennemis the revolution has pulled out their roots la and the espionage networks have been smashed. In terms of classes, our enemies are all gone. En tant que classe, However, plus. they still have the American imperialists, imperialists, the free world, the KGB, le monde libre, and Vietnam. Le KGB Though they have been defeated, they can still block us. Ils ont été vaincus, ils Another thing is that the enemies are inside ailleurs, our body, among the military, the workers, corps, in the cooperatives, and even in our ranks. Making rangs. socialist revolution deeply and strongly, these enemies must be progressively wiped out as soon as possible. Continuing further below in this document, the Ministry Congress discusses the difference between adversarial disputes and internal disputes, stating as follows, quote, the adversarial disputes are those against the revolution. If there are such disputes, we must hand them over to the security sector to deal with, that is, to do research Autrement to find dit, out its systematic relation. Pour, uh, For this type of dispute, no need to do things like education. Ici, it is to no avail." End of quote. Fin de citation. E3 slash 857 is a report uh, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs titled Working with the Committees of Every Unit, dated the 12th of September 1977. The very first section of this report is titled Enemy Activities, and it begins as follows. Quote, At our ministry's conference, it was noted that we have basically smashed and swept cleanly away the enemies who were CIA, KGB, and UN territory swallowers. We achieved unity that the enemy is not yet completely gone from our ministry or from any of its units of organization. We must therefore continue sweeping cleanly to make our ministry, like each and every one of its units, immaculate. Continuing two paragraphs below in the section on enemy activities, quote, generally speaking, our ministry is fairly highly awakened. Whenever any little thing happens, the brothers and sisters know how to be concerned, raise high their revolutionary vigilance, and report. For example, the enemy makes it heard that in a little while, everybody will be arrested and only Brother Q Sampan will be left. Our comrades know how to analyze this sort of thing and report it. Once we have effected the arrests and conducted the interrogations, we can see the enemy links clearly. Your Honours, the party lines on, enemy, La ligne on enemies are also reflected in a number of documents from the Ministry of Commerce. E3-1110, that's E3-1110, is a report of a Ministry of Commerce meeting held from the 25th to 26th of July, 1976. The first agenda item at this meeting was the enemy situation. And in that section, which can be found at Khmer 00381695, through 96, English 00583838229, French 00766077 through 78. In this part of the document uh, states the following, quote, 
Activities of the bad elements have been calmed after we carried out some measures and education sessions." End of quote. And a specific incident is then described, which is attributed to, quote, the contemptible in Tom's clique. This is a reference to one of the seven Lono super traders. And in regards to future measures to address the enemy situation, the document indicates that, quote, the examination and screening of personal backgrounds or biographies will be strengthened. Document E3-846, E3-846, is a, a draft dated 24 October 1976 of a 10-day periodic report from the Ministry of Commerce. And once again, the first section of this report is on the enemy situation. It begins by reporting that, quote, those making contact from outside the unit are quieter than before after we remove a number of the bad groups from the ministry, end of quote. The next two paragraphs of the document then describe a number of individuals who had been sent to the re-education office, indicating that the names of those persons are, quote, noted on the list reported to Ankar dated 21 October 1976. And on the second page of this document, a paragraph on enemies inside the unit reads as follows. Quote, Those formerly close to bad groups whom we previously withdrew still have many signs which show that they are liberal, complicated, and ignore their work. The ministry has taken the additional measure of withdrawing them to the re-education office as listed in the report to Ankar dated 21 October. And briefly, Your Honors, documents E3-174 and E3-962 are two examples of lists from the Ministry of Commerce reporting the names of commerce cadres sent to the re-education or security office. E3-174 lists 11 persons that the ministry, after consulting with all sections, decided to send to re-education to the re-education center on the 17th of October 1976. Several of those persons are described as having been close to or having some relationship with a person who was previously arrested. For example, in section 2 of E3, Slash 174. One of the cadres sent for re education is described as follows. Quote, the person called Laum, the deputy group chief of the rice warehouse, an intimate of contemptible Un, a traitorous leader at Tamai Market, who has already been arrested. Document E3-962 is also dated 17 October 1976, and it lists an additional six persons that the Ministry of Commerce decided on that same day to, quote, arrest and send to security to interrogate for information. And like the other list, a number of the people are noted as being a link or in the organizational line of persons previously arrested. Your Honors, the next group of documents I will present uh, show the existence of the JCE and the policy on enemies within the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, including the general staff and the various divisions of the center. And 
the uh, first document that is significant to showing the enemy policy in the military is document E3 slash 5, E3 slash 5, which is the August 1975 issue of Revolutionary Flag that contains a speech given by Pol Pot to the RAK on the 22nd of July 1975. And in that speech at ERN Khmer 00063333328, English 00401491. French 00538966. The representatives of the army were, ins were instructed as follows regarding the party line. Quote, Our revolutionary army was born of the strate strategic political line of the Communist Party of Camp Chia, which states in one clause that the enemy uses violence. They use acts of political and military cruelty as weapons to oppress, to kill, to wreck and destroy the people. Therefore, the party must lead the people in the use of violence, in the use of acts to repay in blood, whether politically or militarily. This means that the party must use revolutionary violence and must assemble the people to use revolutionary violence to oppose the reactionaries and the oppressor classes and to oppose the colonialists and imperialists. Later, Your Honors, in the same speech at Khmer, 00063333340 through 42, English 00401501, and French 00538975. Pol Pot instructed Pol the RAK on its mission now that the CPK was in power. And that section reads as follows, quote, the primary mission of the army is to defend the country. Why must the country be defended when our country has already been completely liberated? When we have already driven away and scattered all the imperialists, no one will ever dare come again. The problem is not like that. We have already liberated the country, but a war situation still rears its head because in the world, imperialism and colonialism, both new and old, still exist. Continuing in the next paragraph, quote, the feudalists and capitalists in their status as oppressor classes have already been attacked and overthrown. However, in being overthrown, will they entirely disappear and will they never return or what? It is not like that. They were overthrown organizationally. They were overthrown in terms of regime. However, their outlooks, their stances, their trickery, and their plans to resist the revolution and seize state power back from the revolution still remain the same. They use every tactic. They come overtly, they come covertly, they come directly, they come indirectly, and sometimes they even enter our ranks. And in the next paragraph, quote, the situation is like this. Because of this, our army must fulfill the mission of defending the country with high and constant revolutionary vigilance. As for defending Phnom Penh and smashing espionage groups and smashing saboteurs that want to wreck and destroy our revolution, 
we will continue to smash the defeated enemy remnants to consolidate our victory. The next document is one that is particularly relevant to show the existence of a JCE involving all key organizations, the military, ministries, Office 870, and S21. It is document E3-81, E3-811. It is the minutes of a meeting that was held on the 9th of September 1976 and was attended by Son Sen, Son Sen, by the Secretary of Division 703, Kin, by S21 Chairman Deutsch, and by S71 Chairman Pong. The subject of the meeting Le thème de la was Réunion leaflets that were uh, leaflets suivant, criticizing the regime des that had been, been found on the street regime, streets in Phnom Penh. De Phnom Penh. And in the minutes, Dans ce verbal, uh, S21 Chairman Deutsch de notes that cadres from Division 170 de la division Chan Chakri's division had been implicated, Chakri, arrested in a prior incident involving similar leaflets. Son Sen, in his remarks Son recorded Sen on the second page, page, states that this is not a problem coming from the outside and identifies two networks of internal enemies that could be responsible, links connected to Division 170 avec des liens avec or 703s 170 coming from Sector 25. En du sector and it is the measures at this meeting that are particularly revealing. They read as follows. Quote, number one, heighten the outlook of revolutionary vigilance in view of the increasingly very sharp contradictions and the ever strong class hatred of the enemies of the Campuchian revolution, both the enemy to the west and the enemy to the east. Number two, in terms of organizational problems, comrades Pong and Kami must recognize their heavy duties and go all out in doing constant political and ideological education. They must firmly grasp biographies and ideologies. Externally, Comrade Pin, a reference to the Division 703 Secretary, Comrade Pin is to re-examine his unit of organization. As for security, I suggest that it increase its surveillance of enemy situations. I suggest Comrade Pong liaise with the various ministries. The 170s should be rounded up in one place. This document, as I said, is submitted um, as particularly relevant to show the different organizations of democratic Campuchia, how they were part of a common JCE related to the treatment of enemies. Document E3-822 is the minutes of a 16 September 1976 meeting between Sonsen, Deutsch, Division 170 Secretary Sok, and Division 290 Secretary Tal. The agenda of this meeting was to discuss and decide on the arrests of additional cadres from Divisions 170 and 290. And on the first page of the minutes, Son Sen provides a description of the present situation as follows, quote, after we arrested Chakri, the Division 170 secretary, he accused some members of Sector 24 
of having connections with Vietnam and Russia in order to attack our revolution on 30 September 1976. Now, Chuk, the sector secretary, and his followers are under arrest. He already confessed. End of quote. And the particular importance of these minutes is that on the second page of the document, uh, after agreeing upon 29 cadres from Division 170 who were to be arrested, the minutes state that the arrests were decided because, quote, according to the plan that Ankar had sent out, all Chakri connections have to be arrested, end of quote. These minutes also record the decision to arrest Chakri's wife and niece. Another important document that shows the existence of a joint criminal enterprise and the agreement of the DK military leaders with the party's enemy policy is E3-13, E3-13, the minutes of a 9 October 1976 meeting of the secretaries and deputy secretaries of the divisions and independent regiments. I have previously repeated, uh, I'm sorry, I've previously presented parts of this document that I will not repeat here today, including a section at the start where San Sen provides a detailed report to the division leaders on the recent arrests of fellow party leaders accused of being CIA, including Division 170 Secretary Chakri, Sector 24 Secretary Chuk, and Northeast Zone Secretary Ya. And in this, these same comments, by Son Sen at the start of the meeting, he calls for heightened revolutionary vigilance and further purges of no good elements. What I will focus on today is the responses of the various division leaders to Son Sen's presentation, which responses reflect their agreement with the party's policy. And commencing in this document in E3-13 at Khmer 00052420808, English 00183987, French 00334977, Seven seven through seven eight. The first to respond to San Sen's report was Division 164 Deputy Secretary Doom, who states, quote, I would like to be in unity with the organization's presentation. End of quote. Doom goes on to report that based on an examination of his forces, quote, 90 to 95 percent of them are reliable, those who are loyal to the party. But if you want unsullied faith that the army is clean, it seems not yet to be clean, and it is imperative to follow up with more purges, end of quote. Next up was Comrade Sok, the new secretary of Division 170. He states, quote, Division 170 has purged 70 no goods and is keeping them in one place. I would like to be in unity with the party, end of quote. On the next page, Division 703 Secretary Pin states as follows, quote, as regards the problem of traitors and the party's measures, I agree completely, end of quote. 
Division 450 Secretary Sung indicates Sung that he is more and more concerned about these enemies de plus en plus and advises de, that the no good the elements in his, his division have been, quote, rounded up, but not yet entirely purged. Mais pas été tous purgés. And next, Division 310 Ensuite, Secretary, Secretary Un, 310, Un raises the problem of cadres whose biographies are not yet clearly grasped and who may be concealing that they were originally white Khmer qui or lived Khmer with the Vietnamese. And in this document at Khmer 00052411, English 00183990, French 00334980, Division 502 Secretary Sumet makes the following statement. Quote, after the party revealed the upper Après traitorous links le, le belonging les, to American imperialism and the revisionists, I was happy and had more faith in the party. This experience proves Cette that our party has a solid grip on things and a stance of constant vigilance. If there are contradictions, it grasps them clearly, and this is a victory for our party. With regard to this problem, it can be stipulated that the enemies have been basically eliminated. But it is imperative to take further measures to prevent this from happening a second, a third, and a fourth, and so on again time. It is imperative to dare absolutely to conduct purges, end quote. Following Sumet was Division 164 Secretary Mies Mut. Mies Mut also agrees that the arrests were, quote, a great victory for our party, which has strengthened another degree the standpoint of revolutionary vigilance. He adds that, quote, no good elements or enemies are still camouflaged and infiltrated in the rank and file, and that he is in, quote, total agreement and unity with the party to do whatever needs to be done, end of quote. Pour que tout ce qui doit être On the fait following soit... page, Son Sen, Ensuite, Brother 89, Sen, le frère 89, sums up the views of the division leaders résume, as follows. Quote, les Those present at the meeting de, are in unity with the party les à la and considering that the arrest of these traitors is a great victory over the revisionists et, et who were following the secret road and had been infiltrating for more than 10 years already. Clandestinement depuis plus de 10 ans. And at Khmer 00052413-15, English 00183992-93, and French 00334942. Through eight three. The minutes of this meeting set out the measures to deal with the enemy situation. The first measure is to, quote, further heighten the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, in particular in regards to concrete operations, which Sean Sen explains, explained earlier in the meeting, meant, quote, Having a firm grip on our units of organization, ensuring that the enemy is unable to pour from within and doing whatever needs to be done to make our army clean. Measure number two reads, quote, it is imperative to have a solid grasp on the contradictions in our national society 
both antagonistic and secondary contradictions. In our status as an army, we must know the subjects that we must attack, namely American imperialism, the Vietnam revisionists, and their traitorous henchmen. And the operational methods in the fourth measure include the following, quote, it is imperative to purge no good elements absolutely in the sense of an absolute class struggle. The purge is premised on three principles. Category one, the dangerous category, they must be absolutely purged. Category two, the ordinary liberal category, they must be educated again and again in our education schools and category three, the category of those who have merely been incited by the enemy, merely believed the enemy incitement. As a first step, they should undergo refashioning to get them to no longer believe the enemy." End of quote. Your Honor, there are many ensuing reports from the division secretaries uh, regarding enemy policy. I will touch upon just a few of the more significant ones. The E3-1164, E3-1164, is a report from Division 801 Secretary Saroon, who uses the alias Roon, to San Sen dated the 25th of November 1976. And the report, in Section 2 of the report, uh, the Division Secretary describes the activities of a purported network of enemies in one of his regiments, Regiment 83. The description of the activities of these enemies in paragraph 3A, quote, they indoctrinated the cadres and combatants not to trust our revolution by their references to the insufficient food rations. Paragraph 3D, they induced people to act and speak freely in their movement and to address freedom issues in Vietnam and Laos. And in the corrective measures that are proposed in section four, of the report, number six states, quote, to cooperate with the base, to completely purge the enemy inside the unit, and to try to search for all enemy networks within the unit. Document E3 slash 1060, E3-1060, is another report from the Division 801 Secretary to Brother 89, this one dated the 25th of March, 1977. And in this document, the Division Secretary reports on the enemy situation in the base throughout the Northeast Zone. For example, in the final section titled Miscellaneous, paragraph 3 reports on Sector 101 of the Northeast Zone, stating as follows, quote, at 101, so far, there has been fighting against enemy. It was noticeable to us that when enemy were arrested or handed over by the army, the enemy was smashed immediately without any interrogation to search for the strength, causing the loss of the enemy trace, for instance, seven Vietnamese or 12 bandits. However, I have already met and talked about this issue with Comrade Tin, who is the secretary of Sector 101. 
the paragraph uh, 5 at the end of this section sums up the situation in the units as follows. Quote, we were following the trail of both new and old elements destroying the revolution. Those targets include those going against the revolutionary line and those newly and previously implicated by the enemy. End of quote. Document E3-877, E3-877, is a 20 May 1977 telegram from the Sector 105 Secretary Lang, under his alias Chan, sent to Office 870. This document, in addition to the two documents from Division 801 that I just presented, are particularly relevant to show how the center military divisions and the zones or autonomous sectors worked together in relation to the party policy on enemies. Paragraph 3 of the Sector Secretary's telegram to Office 870 describes an attack on a sector office and reports as follows, quote, our assessment is that this was not an enemy from the outside. We suspect the division, henchmen of the contemptible Saum and the contemptible Chin, a reference to the former secretary and deputy secretary of Division 920. This problem has already been reported to Comrade Son, the, division nine, the new secretary of Division 920. Despite arrests of Unit 920s, activities continue one after the other, but we are making arrest after arrest, too. This telegram also reports on the arrest of two Vietnamese, noting in a postscript at the end, quote, the problem of these contemptible Yuan has already been decided, end of quote. My next document is E3-970, E3-970, a letter from Division 502 Secretary Su Met to S21 Chairman Deutsch, dated the 30th of May 1977. And in the first paragraph of this letter, Su Met refers to having sent quote, 27 traitors from the traitorous string of divisions 310 and 450 on the evening of 29 May 1977. In paragraph 3, he states, at 10 or 11 tonight, seven more of the traitorous string of Mao and that of the previous group will be sent. And in paragraph 4, Sumet writes, quote, on the previous day, you said you would give the responses of Mao to my side if Ankar did not object. I request this document to continue to search out enemies, end of quote. A related document to this is E3-3655, E3-3655, which is the S21 confession of Sur Tun, alias Mao, the Division 502 cadre referenced by Su Met. On the cover page of Mao's confession, which you will see at Khmer 00173999, English 00224628, French 00271447. There is a handwritten note from San Sen under his alias Q to Division 801 Secretary Saroon dated the 2nd of June, 1977, which states, Dear Comrade Rune, 
please read this report of Mao and pick out the relevant names of Unit 801. Two, I will help you tomorrow as I'm busy this afternoon. Your Honors, these two documents, the 30 May 1977 letter from Sumet and the 2 June 1977 note on the confession of Division 502 Cadre Mao are presented as they are relevant to show how S21 confessions were distributed to the leaders of divisions or organizations whose cadres were implicated. The last uh, military documents I will present relate primarily to the uh, policy against the Vietnamese. E3 slash 915 is a telegram from Division 164 Secretary Mias Mut dated 31st of December 1977, addressed to Committee 870 and copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van, Brother Vaughan, Brother Q, Office and Documentation. And in this telegram, Division Secretary Mut writes as follows, quote, we have received the guiding view and the declaration of the party about the aggression of the Yun who have come to swallow the territory of our motherland. We, who have the duty to defend the maritime spearhead, would like to, one, be in total unity with the party, two, vowed determination to fashion forces who are a tool absolutely to defend the party, to defend the state power of the collective workers and peasants, and to defend the socialist Campuchian motherland by sweeping cleanly away and without half measures the uncovered elements of the enemy, whether the Yun or other enemies. E3 slash 928 is a document recording a telephone report from Division 164 Secretary Mudd a few months later on the 1st of April 1978. This report is copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van. And in the first paragraph of this document, Mias Mut reports that a total of 120 were arrested and shot to death between the 27th and 30th of March 1978. Later that same month, in a speech that was given by Pol Pot, on the third anniversary of the 17 April victory, which was published in the April 1978 issue of Revolutionary Flag, document D243-2.1.16, repeat, D243-2.1.16, at Khmer 0006-47-17-17, English 00-51-98-36, and French 00-52-03-48-47. Pol Pot made the following statement, and now, how about the UN? There are no UN in Campuchian territory. Formerly, there were nearly one million of them. Now, there is not one seed of them to be found. In regards to the 50 million Vietnamese who were still living in Vietnam, Pol Pot instructed as follows at Khmer 00 06 47 through 14, English 00 
5198833334 and French 0052603433 at this year-end, Pol Pot's speech reads as follows. Le de Pol Pot Quote, la the UN Les have a population UN of 50 million, so and Kampuchea has only 8 million. So how 8 can we win? That would be hard, as they have nearly Ce 1 million troops. Car ils ont presque un million de soldats. I want to tell you about our army. Vous parler de notre our army. regular forces are less Nos than 100,000 in strength. Au nombre de moins de 100 000. So then, can 8 million fight 50 million que 8 aggressors? Comment 8 million can less than 100,000 troops fight moins de 100 nearly 1 million? 100 000 soldats Continuing further below, quote, Look, looking at the numbers, one of us si must fight 30 UN. Il faut if we can implement this slogan, we win. Si nous cela en oeuvre, no matter nous le how many UN there are, Peu le de we UN, should be able to fight them and win. De les et de and continuing in the same paragraph, Pol Pot paragraph. makes clear Pol Pot he is talking about the entire Vietnamese population, la population vietnamienne quote, tout entière. so sais. when we have two million, Quand nous avons we already million, have more than we need to fight them, nous avons déjà plus because que they nous only have 50 million. Car ils ont que 50 million. We don't need to use 8 million, we can use a force of only 2 million to fight and smash the UN and still have 6 million left, million continuing a few sentences million. below. Quote, this is the combat line voilà la ligne de that must be implemented in the battlefield, one against 30. If 30. we cannot implement the slogan, we si cannot seize victory. This issue does not just apply to the army, the entire party, the entire army, and the entire of people absorb this line and view and stance. End of quote. The last group of organizations that I want to uh, show documents uh, relating to the general policy are zones and autonomous sectors of democratic Kampuchea. Pour les zones et de and in these documents, we will see that each of the zones and autonomous sectors que des zones et des agrees with the enemy policy. Avec la Document E3-871, E3-871 is a 21 March 1976 telegram from the East Zone to Pol Pot, copied to Nunchea, Son Sen, and Ying Sari. The first paragraph of the report describes the capture of five Vietnamese who were hiding in the forest, two of whom were shot, and the other three detained at a security office. The second paragraph of the report describes the capture and interrogation of an individual who threw a grenade into a paddy dike. The report as follows, quote, we beat him up during interrogation about his organizational links and got on to more than 20 more of them in the grassroots of Preya Sadek district. This guy's organizational links come from South Vietnam. And For the Northwest Zone, there are a, a number of documents of interest. E3-178, E3-178 is the weekly report of the Sector 5 Committee dated the 21st of May 1977. The first section of this report 
La is on the defense or security situation, defense, and it begins as de follows. Quote, after having disseminated the situation on country defense, based on the substance of the party's statement on the occasion of the Zone Congress, it has been noted that the storming attack movement to defend the country by destroying all enemies' tricks from both within and outside has been speedier and more leaping forward than before. By having continued fighting actively to search for all traitors and continued purging the traitors, the following result has been obtained. And at Khmer 00275587, English 00342709, French 00623305. The report then describes various achievements of the sector relating to enemies, including, quote, searching and finding the traitors, the 17 April elements from Phnom Penh, who have prepared a plan to destroy our water reservoir locating other traders, quote, who were 17 April elements from Phnom Penh, based on the confessions of their network and based on the photographs for which Ankar, Ankar has asked to search, and, quote, sweeping clean those moral offenders who had committed corruption and debauchery at the cooperatives. All of these people were the 17 April elements from Phnom Penh and from the base as well. A few paragraphs later in the same section, the document contains the following report. Excuse me. The document reports as follows regarding a group of Cham people in the sector. Quote, the 17 April elements from Phnom Penh, who were Cham nationals, conducted a protest in the common kitchen of the cooperative concerning their belief in what they eat according to the religion by pointing at and referring to Article 10 of the Constitution. This was presumably intended to refer to Article 20 of the Constitution. Continuing, quote, For this situation, we have taken special measures, that is, to look for their string, look for the head of their movement in order to sweep clean, end of quote. And this section of the report concludes by noting, quote, based on the party's continuous direction, based on the zone Congress decision, based on the above mentioned realities, we have continued the storming attack by conducting the propaganda and educating and instilling the party cadres, the party members, the core organizations, which are the left hand and right hand of the party, to continue to encourage the great movement to defend the cooperative and the union by continuing sweeping clean the treacherous embedded elements, CIA, KGB, or Vietnam networks. Document E3-1120, E3-1120, is a telegram report regarding the enemy situation sent from the Northwest Zone Office, referred to as M560, on the 6th of November, 1977, copied to Uncle, Uncle Nguyen, Brother Van, Brother Vaughan, and Brother Q. After describing a number of enemy problems in sectors 3 and 5 of the Northwest Zone, the report states as follows, quote, 
The sectors have each taken measures with regard to such problems, namely, one, going all out to find more enemy apparatuses, two, going all out to propagandize and re-educate people, and three, the grassroots and the military must cooperate closely to smash all kinds of enemies." End of quote. Another document from the Northwest Zone is E3-950. E3-950, a report from Zone Secretary NIM to Ankar 870, dated 11th of May, 1978. As stated in the first paragraph of the document, NIM's report followed a meeting with Ankar at which he received recommendations of 870, which he then communicated to his sector committees. As with the other reports we have seen, the first subject on which the Northwest Zone Secretary reports is internal and external enemies. And that section concludes by describing measures to be taken as follows. Quote, be more highly vigilant. Smash invasive enemies. Successfully sweep all destructive elements and prevent all acts of secret moving and looting. The last document from the Northwest Zone is document E3-863, a report from the Zone Secretary to Ankar dated 17 May 1978. And in paragraph 5 of this report, the Zone Secretary seeks direction from Ankar on the following issue. Quote, the meeting raised a question about how to decide on the elements of soldiers from previous regimes and the Yuans with Khmer spouses and the half-breed Khmer Yuan. Regarding this issue, the meeting would like to ask Ankar 870 what to do with them. Whatever Ankar decides, please give instructions. Generally speaking, these groups are scared of the situation and worried about their fate, but there is not yet any sign of opposing activities. If any of them make some suspicious activities, we will decide to take them out. In regards to the Southwest Zone, Your Honors, document E3-798 is the minutes of a 30 August 1976 meeting of the Division Secretaries. And at the start of these minutes is a section titled Brother 89 Reports on Enemy Situations in the Grass Roots. In this section, San Sen reports on the arrest of 60 people in Sector 25 of the Southwest Zone. And the conduct for which those 60 persons were arrested is described as follows. Quote, they raised a white banner with the slogans, Long Live Buddhism, Long Live the White Khmer Front of Liberation from Rice by the Can. They were getting ready for major unrest on the 20th of August, and if that could not be done, then after a delay, they would try again. Also from the Southwest Zone, Your Honors, there are numerous surviving contemporaneous documents from one of the key party bases in the zone, Tramcock District, which show the party's enemy policy. E3-2424, and we repeat E3-2424, 
contains a collection of such reports from Tramcock District, two of which I would like to present now. The first is at Khmer 00270752, English 00322218. French 00612216, Spanish 00612216, and it is a report from Cus Commune dated the 20th of July 1978, which report reads as follows. The report identifies a female farmer, Il est new people, du an Akporn village, who said that, un, quote, dans un village, the more we do the revolution, porn, the more scarcity we are having. Que plus la avancée, the more plus respect we pénurie. do, the more faults we are having. This statement plus was spoken on 13 June 1978. In 1977, this young woman stole one bowl of patty. After this, this young woman said that in the revolution, food rations are limited. How much they are giving us to eat, we can get to eat only that much. The husband of this young woman is named Besayas Ritkul, an Arabian an owner of a gas station who was separated from her un on the way Arabe, out of Phnom Penh. Service, her working activities are average, but very often she was sick. Son For the above moyen, issues, I request to your comrade sujet, elder brother to interrogate her more, because Ankar has decided already that she be taken away. Second report that's contained in E3 slash 2424 is at, that I would like to present, is at Khmer 00270755 through 56, English 00322220. And French zero zero six one two two one nine, and it is a report from Angtasom Commune addressed to respected comrade elder brother police of District one hundred five, dated eighteen August nineteen seventy eight, which reports on three persons from that commune who had been determined to be enemies. De cette commune the last comme two paragraphs of the report read as follows. Quote, a Vietnamese named M. Sambat, son Sambat, of the contemptible Kim Long. Kim Long, his activities are he drove a plow with intention to break it down Il for five times and abandoned it did not take out the oxen to graze, sneaked out and crossed the Corp Trebek recently to do the rice farming there, drove the oxen and the plow to fall off from a bridge, bridge which called, caused an ox to have one of its legs broken and was out of use until it died. Therefore, I would like to physically send over the above three enemies, along with this enclosed report, for further interrogation in order to seek for the undercover networks of those enemies hiding in the villages and communes, and to take further measures in order to achieve according to the guidelines of the party, dated 18 August 1978, on to Somme. Mr. President, I'm going to turn to another document at this time, if this is a convenient time for a break. I can pause here. Mr. President, thank you. The time is appropriate for a short break. We will take a break now and return at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.